When people look at films that are super beloved and then they hear stories about the difficulties or tragedies that happen on set, they then go on to ascribe that production as cursed. Wizard of Oz, Cannibal Holocaust, The Serpent and the Rainbow, Stalkers. Rosemary's Baby, after the film was made. Some uh, unsettling things happened. Supposedly, the voodoo priest had put a curse on him. One of the munchkins hung himself. It wasn't even noticed at the time of the release. William Castle's kidney stopped working. He was convinced he saw the reflection of the devil in the surgeon's knife. <laughs> there is an idea that if you make a wicked film, you're opening yourself up to forces that could influence your life in a negative way. We have a weird homicide. Charles Manson said he was inspired by songs on the White Album. The Dakota, where it was filmed, John Lennon was murdered right in front of it. They started to riot. We had to get out of Haiti. I always have a hard time talking about this. You can find a connection between anything if you look hard enough, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's not true. The important thing is to separate the legend from the truth. Was this film cursed? I don't know. It's all part of the myth.